I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. We're above Nathan Phillips Square here. It's always been my lifelong dream to drive a Zamboni. I get jealous watching them scrape the ice, so I got to work on that bucket list item. Uh, it may be like driving a bit of a Zamboni on some of the roadways tomorrow as we do have the potential of seeing some freezing rain. So uh, we're going to continue to keep the cold air locked right at the surface in our higher elevations. And we're going to bring in some much warmer air through the middle parts and lower parts of the atmosphere that are just going to give us that scenario where we could see a brief round of icing for an hour or two before it starts to move on. So a special weather statement is out for that across the north end of the GTA areas like Caledon, northern York, northern Durham regions through the Oak Ridges Moraine, parts of the Halton Hills through the Niagara Escarpment could see a little bit of that freezing rain potential. So it'll be a couple of hours where we do see that. And that's why that special weather statement is up. Take a look at the map and we'll show you where that special weather statement includes areas like Kitchener, Waterloo, back up in through Guelph, in through Barry, Midland, Aurelia, and then all the way into the Kawartha Lakes area, as well as that northern parts of the uh, portion of the GTA. Areas that are basically uh, just off of Lake Huron and uh, Georgian Bay. I'm not going to deal with it because the warmer air from the lakes is going to keep it uh, from freezing up at the surface. So right now we have a lot of cloud cover. That's going to stay in place tonight and through a good chunk of the day tomorrow. Don't expect much in the way of sunshine. And we'll just wait for this system to arrive and it's just starting to sneak into the bottom left hand side of your screen and we'll start to see that arriving by around six o'clock tomorrow so two degrees currently in toronto it is uh, zero in windsor so there is the temperature and the air that is going to be near freezing as soon as you climb an elevation a little bit and that gives us that scenario for that freezing rain setup and you see that happening at about six to six thirty maybe even seeing a brief round of wet snow and then some freezing rain and and then we're going to get into regular old rain and bring in the risk of a thunderstorm just after midnight on Sunday. Showers are going to continue into the morning Sunday. Plenty of dry time during the day. We may see a peak or two of sunshine, but then we're also going to bring in another round of showers into the evening. So some wet weather on the way for Sunday. Temperatures near one and a gray morning to start things off. By midday, we're up to two degrees and by the afternoon, three degrees. Here's your seven day forecast. We're looking at temperatures up to 10 degrees by Sunday dropping to five on Monday and then ones and zeros pretty much all the way through the week, getting even colder by next Friday with not much in the sunshine department. An updated forecast comes your way tonight at 11 o'clock.